picture this, a radio signal from space so puzzling, it's left top scientists scratching their heads for decades. Meet the wow signal, the reason we're still asking who or what might be out there among the stars. All right, let's set the scene. The year is 1963. While astronauts are dreaming of the moon, a group of scientists at Ohio State University are looking beyond into the deeper reaches of space. Though the formal search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, program hadn't been established yet, these pioneers were laying the groundwork for what would become one of the most intriguing scientific quests of all time. Their secret weapon? The Big Ear Telescope. This wasn't a small-scale project. We're talking about a structure as massive as three football fields. Originally designed for radio astronomy and sky surveys, the Big Ear also took on a groundbreaking mission to scan the heavens for signals that could hint at the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence. The telescope was equipped with a flat reflector and a parabolic reflector, designed to focus incoming radio waves onto a single point, like a gigantic ear tuned to the universe. Now, as cool as Big Ear was, it wasn't without its hurdles. First off, let's talk tech. Remember, this was the 1960s. The technology was groundbreaking for its time, but by today's standards, it was pretty basic. The telescope had to deal with all kinds of interference, from earthly radio broadcasts to natural background noise. Most of the time, it was like trying to hear a faint whisper in the middle of a roaring concert, where the music is a mix of static and random interference. The Big Ear was built as a fixed parabolic reflector, which means it was designed to focus incoming radio waves onto a single point. Because of its massive size and the engineering of the time, it couldn't swivel or tilt like some modern telescopes, but it had a workaround. Using Earth's rotation, Big Ear scanned different patches of the sky, like a silent observer watching the heavens turn. Clever, but still limited. It meant that if something interesting passed through its field of view, there was no turning back for a second look. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Despite these limitations, Big Ear was far from a novelty. Over the years, it amassed mountains of data, prompting scientists to develop new algorithms and methods to sift through the cosmic clutter. They were on the hunt for something, anything, that would stand out from the noise. Then, in 1977, the unexpected finally happened. Amidst the usual static and interference, Big Ear picked up a signal that was anything but ordinary. This was a narrow band radio signal, far stronger than the background noise, and it lasted for a full 72 seconds. Dr. Jerry R. Emmon, the astronomer who was reviewing the data, was so astounded that he wrote, wow, in red ink on the data printout. This wasn't just another blip in the data. It was a signal so perplexing that it immediately catapulted itself into scientific legend. It defied all conventional explanations and ignited decades of debate and research. So what would you do if you stumbled upon something that could potentially be a message from another civilization? That's the question that rocked not just Ohio State University, but the entire world. When Big Ear picked up the wow signal, it was like a bolt of lightning in the scientific community. News outlets were all over it, from the New York Times to the smallest local paper. Everyone wanted a piece of the story. Scientists were especially intrigued. Theories started pouring in from every corner. Some thought it was a message from an advanced alien civilization. Others speculated it could be a secret military satellite that had gone rogue. And then there were those who thought it was just a glitch, a hiccup in the data that had been blown way out of proportion. Think of Dr. Emmon, the man who found himself at the epicenter of a scientific whirlwind, all because of a mysterious data point that compelled him to ink wow onto the printout. For him, it was like finding a hidden treasure, a secret message in a bottle that had floated across the vast ocean of space. The possibilities seemed endless, and the potential implications were staggering. If the signal was genuine, it could be the first evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, a discovery that would rewrite the history books and challenge our understanding of our place in the universe. Let's take a step back for a moment. With all this advanced technology and these brilliant minds focused on the problem, you'd think someone would have been able to pick up the signal again, right? Well, that's where things get complicated. Despite numerous attempts using telescopes that were even more advanced than Big Ear, the wow signal seems to have vanished. It was like a ghost appearing for a moment 
and then disappearing into the ether. Scientists aimed their telescopes at the exact coordinates, tuned to the exact frequency, and waited. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and still nothing. The signal was gone. And with this disappearance came a wave of skepticism and doubt. Critics began to question whether the wow signal had ever been real to begin with. Was it just a one-time anomaly? A glitch in the system? Or perhaps interference from a passing satellite? The lack of a repeat signal gave skeptics plenty of ammunition to dismiss the initial finding as a fluke. So what happens when you have a mystery that refuses to be solved? It becomes a legend. And speaking of legends, if you'd like to be one in my eyes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Okay, let's get back to the enigma at hand. The wow signal didn't just fade away into obscurity, it became a focal point for debate and speculation. Scientific conferences were dedicated to it. Research papers were published trying to explain it. Documentaries were filmed exploring its mysteries. And yet, despite all this attention, no one has been able to provide a definitive answer. The signal remains an enigma, a tantalizing clue in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence that has sparked more questions than it has answered. It has inspired a new generation of scientists to look to the stars in wonder, driving research and innovation in the field of astronomy. The WOW signal has become sort of a holy grail for SETI researchers, a mystery that continues to captivate and confound, fueling the imagination of all who dare to look up and ask, what if? What keeps us hooked on a mystery that's been around for decades? The signal seems to have an irresistible pull. It's a phenomenon that's as puzzling today as it was when it was first discovered. Far from being just a historical footnote, this strange signal has become a cornerstone in the ongoing quest to find extraterrestrial intelligence. New technologies have emerged, inspired by the quest to solve this mystery, advanced algorithms to sift through the astronomical amounts of data more efficiently, and telescopes are now more sensitive than ever. The WOW signal has even influenced the allocation of research funds, with grants and scholarships being established to encourage further study into this and similar mysteries of the universe. But what happens when all this tech and brain power still can't crack the code? That's the frustrating reality we face. The WOW signal remains an enigma, fueling an ever-growing list of theories. Some people think it might be a reflection from space debris or a satellite. Others dive into conspiracy theories, suggesting government cover-ups or even time-traveling humans. The absence of a clear explanation has made the WOW signal a blank canvas for people's wildest speculations and theories, inspiring everything from scientific papers to science fiction novels. So where does this leave us? In a world that often feels very mapped out and understood, the WOW signal serves as a humbling reminder of our lack of complete understanding about the universe. It's a question mark in the sky, challenging our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The legacy of the WOW signal extends beyond the scientific community. It has permeated popular culture, inspiring plot lines in movies, TV shows, and novels. It's a symbol of the great unknown, a testament to the human spirit of exploration and discovery. Merchandise, like t-shirts and mugs, feature the famous WOW scribble, and internet memes circulate, adding a layer of humor to the ongoing mystery. As long as questions about our universe remain unanswered, the WOW signal will continue to provoke curiosity and wonder, ensuring its place in history and in the stories we tell about our quest to understand the great unknown.